Hey, so today we're going to look at how do we graph systems of linear inequalities. Yeah, that's right, inequalities, y'all. All right, uh, the very first thing that we have to remember is what does the graph of just a regular linear inequality look like? Well, here's an example of a linear inequality. This is y is greater than x plus 3. So if you remember, like, whenever y is greater than, uh, we are shading above. It's strictly greater than, so this is a dashed line. And the solutions are all of these ordered pairs, all the points inside the shaded region. So what does a system of these look like? Whenever we graph a system of linear inequalities, we really just graph each inequality, and we shade their solutions. And then this region where the, where the uh, shadings intersect, all of these points are solutions to the system. So any point inside of this dark shaded region will satisfy both y is greater than x plus 3 and y is less than or equal to negative 2x. All right, well, let's look at an example of that. Here we have y is greater than negative 2x minus 5 and y is less than or equal to x plus 3. So first, let's just focus on y is greater than negative 2x plus 5. That is a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of negative 5. So I'm going to go to negative 5, and then my slope is negative 2, so I can either go down 2 over 1, or I can go up 2 and back 1, as long as this graph falls. Since it's strictly greater than and not greater than or equal to, I connect all of these points with a dashed line. I'm going to hold off on the shading here for just a moment. Uh, the next one we have y is less than or equal to x plus 3. That has a slope of 1, so you just go up 1 over 1, and a y-intercept of 3. So I start with my y-intercept of 3, and then the slope of 1 just goes up 1 and over 1 right through the diagonals here. And because it's less than or equal to, I'm going to connect these with a solid line. All right, now it's time to look at the shading. Because this is y is greater than, we need to remember that we shade above the line for y is greater than. So, and that's simply because this, this inequality is telling me all of the y's that are greater than this line, so all of these y values that are above this line are, will work. They're all solutions. So. So I'm going to shade above this line lightly here. All right. Now, the second equation says y is less than or equal to x plus 3. So all of the y's that are less than this line, so here's my line, all of the y's that are less than this line will be solutions. So I'm going to shade below. Okay. Now, I look back and I say, okay, where do these shadings intersect? That's my solution to this system. So this entire region right here, this is the solution to this system of linear inequalities. And you could, you could uh, check your answer by simply choosing a point, like 0, 0 is inside of here, and plugging in 0, 0 into each of the inequalities and seeing if it satisfies those inequalities. All right, now it's time for you to try a problem on your own. So pause the video and graph y is less than or equal to 3 and y is greater than negative x plus 4. Then in a moment, compare it with my answer. Okay, so the line y is less than or equal to 3 is just y equals 3. We can uh, put a solid line because it's less than or equal to, and since y is less than, we shade below. For y is greater than negative x plus 4, we go up to 4, go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1 for a slope of negative 1. And y is greater than, so it's y shaded above. And then this region where the shadings overlap, this is the solution. All right, so let's do one more example together. Here we have 2x plus 3y is less than 6, and y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4. 
In the first one, 2x plus 3y is less than 6. Let's solve that for y. So 3y is less than negative 2x plus 6. Divide everything by 3. y is less than negative 2 thirds x plus 2. And remember, if we were to have divided by a negative right there, we would have had to flip this sign. So negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So I go up to 2. I'm going to go down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 3. And I connect all of this with a, uh, or I can go up 2 and back 3, of course. But I'm going to connect all of this with a dashed line. Okay, now notice that y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4. These have the same slope. So these are parallel lines. Now unlike regular systems, this does not mean that they have no solution. We have to check. Uh, so plus 4, and then I go down 2 over 3, down 2 over 3. Okay, and connect this with a solid line. Okay, so if this was a normal, just regular system of linear equations, these would never intersect, so they would have no solution. But in our case, they could both shade down, and then all of this region would be a solution. Or maybe the solution region's in between them, depending on which way they shade. So we have to check. So in our pink graph here of the negative 2 thirds x plus 2, it's y is less than, so it's we're going to have to shade below this line. And for the other equation, y is greater than, we're going to have to shade above. So in this case, the shadings never intersect, and we have no solution. So really, if you know how to graph a line, and you know how to interpret an inequality with uh, which way to shade, the only new thing with the system is where their shadings intersect. All right, so this is all for uh, graphing systems of linear inequalities. I don't know what else to say right now, so goodbye.